Welcome to the May CCA newsletter, everyone, and I'm so excited to be back with everyone. It seems like it's been forever since I've shot one of these newsletters, so I'm really excited to be back here again. I want to wish everyone out there a happy Mother's Day. I know it was last weekend, but I just hope everyone was able to get out in the perfect day and have a walk or enjoy some needed sunshine. In case everyone doesn't make it to the end of these newsletters, I wanted to let you know that there is a podcast we've started shooting. For now, it's on video, and we'll move it to a actual podcast form as we get our platform set up soon. Our goal, though, is to spend a little more time digging into these topics we're talking about in the newsletters, like AI and other things, for example. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel for now and follow CCA Technology on LinkedIn to get all those updates. Enough jabbering, let's get into it. You might have heard rumors of a four-day work week, right? It's been bouncing around in Congress since about 2021 now, and I feel like it's been in my news feed now and again. The goal, I think, is to reopen the idea of what is a work week. The current 40-hour work week has been around for some 100 years now or so. A few countries out there have been trying things as of late as well. Some are limiting the amount of typical hours in a week, while others are shortening the days but keeping the hours pretty much the same as they always have. Samsung, on the other hand, thinks that a six-day work week is a better move entirely. Recently, they've seen their market share decreasing to newer and usually cheaper alternatives. And their answer to that is more work. It's hard to tell if it's just a panic move or if it will actually create some new ideas in their office. For now, it just seems like it's their executive team, so hopefully they can figure this out quickly and get back to having their weekends home with family. I oftentimes find myself coming up with better ideas when I'm just sitting outside on the weekend. So hopefully this pans out quickly for them and Samsung can get back to normal. iOS 18 is right around the corner set to release with the new versions of iPhone. And there's been some rumors out there that Apple is working on a native integration with their browser Safari to bring AI Assistant into that new operating system. At this point, a lot of the data is speculative, but it does look like this could be an integration with something like ChatGPT. The code for now looks like it's being transmitted securely over Apple's private relay. Our staffer Lucas covered private relay back in January of 22, probably our most popular video to date, so go check that one out as well. This would be Apple's callback to things like Copilot, which is now built into Microsoft Edge. And I'm also really looking forward to seeing how Apple integrates AI specifically into their iPhones. Finally, Verizon recently published their data breach investigations report for 2024, or DBIR for short. It's available directly on their website. If you're looking for some light reading, it's in the description below. As one might imagine, the metrics are almost always trending upwards, but I did find a glimmer of hope on the ninth page. Users are trending up in the identification skills as well. Reported phishing scams by users is up both in simulated attacks and external attacks that have been sent in emails. This is great news. As Verizon has noticed, the time between a phishing scam and data being scraped is a mere 21 seconds to open an email and 28 seconds to complete the data transaction. That means in under 60 seconds, a typical phishing attack has started and finished. The fact that these breaches happen in such a short period of time proves that these threat actors just need statistics. They know that if enough of these go out, that someone will be just distracted enough that 60 seconds can go by. They'll just click a couple things quickly, just like they would do in their normal life. And if they can get the package to look like what you would do as part of your normal job, you'll just kind of go through it and not think about it at all. So as you're going about things, make sure to pause. It proves these things are sneaky and they're, they're happening really, really quickly. But kudos to you because it does show that the user base as a whole is becoming more and more savvy to these attacks. So give yourself a pat on the back and keep watching these newsletters because it's how you learn. And that's what we're here to help you with so that we can get that number to keep trending up year over year. It's been great to be with you guys. Thanks for watching this whole newsletter. Make sure to go watch our podcasts and check us out on LinkedIn. And we'll see you back in June. Have a great month. Bye.